Hello everyone, this is a very scuffed tutorial on how to download Sync Room, which can be used for... More specifically, I use it for Discord Karaoke, and it's a really simple setup. And unfortunately, as I was trying to figure out how to make this concise, it skips part of the downloading process, but I will try to explain it and make it good for everyone. And fair warning, it may not work for Mac. We'll find out. There's no English tutorial of this, so you're stuck with me. So, you're going to want to hit this blue button, download now. It may not say download now because my thing auto translates, but it's fine. And you're going to hit the Windows 64 bit. Now, once that downloads, and you skip past this part, you're going to want to hit the biggest file. And right here, this is what I mean. It kind of skips some steps, but basically, you're going to only want to hit this middle button. This one takes you back, and this one cancels it, so don't hit those ones. But you might hit a point where it you won't let you hit this button anymore and there will be two other little dots here. That's basically your terms and service. This dot will be selected, the leftmost one. The rightmost one will not be selected. Just hit the rightmost one and then continue on forward because chances are you can't read Japanese. That's why you're here. So keep hitting forward. Always hit the top option and it will download. Allow it to make changes to your device. Yada yada. All that good stuff. And... Want to finish downloading, hit the middle button again, and now it will pop up on your desktop, and you're going to want to hit that. Now it's going to pull up the actual sync room. This is very important. So, you're going to need to sign in now. You're going to want to check this box right here, hit the bigger button, and now you're here, make an account. It's really simple. There's a lot of options for you. I'm going to quickly hide my screen so I can log into my account. You get to enjoy this lovely picture here. While you sign into your account, it's going to give you an option at the top of your Chrome, whatever tab you're using. And it's going to say something like, "Allow make it always redirect to sync room. And you're going to want to hit that. It's not showing up for me because my computer seems to be a bit broken. But go to sync room. And once that box goes away or you just close out sync room and open it up again, bam, you're here. It's great. So, basically... This is your input. This is your input volume. This controls your microphone, whatever, microphone volume, and this is your reverb. You can make it as crazy as you want. You can have none of it at all. That's your reverb. That's your volume. Now, this is your instrumental track volume, or whatever you want to play in the background. You're going to hit this box, and you're going to put your instrumental MP3 in. But Atlas, what if I don't have one? Well, that's why you use 4K Downloader, not sponsored. And you can download YouTube videos and make those mp3s. Now I have something ready right here. There's tutorials on how to set it up. I'm not going to explain it here. This is already way too long. So once it parses, you're going to want to make sure it's extract audio, format mp3. Because as far as I can tell, mp3 and dot waves work. I don't know if these two work. I can't be bothered to figure it out. Extract, yada yada, whatever. Bam, it's going to show up in your 4K downloader folder, and you can put it in, and you can control the volume. Now, here's a little note from me. Don't have it past this gray dot, because that's really loud in comparison to your singing. Because, you know, if you're using this for singing, you want people to hear your voice, not just only instrumental. But again, you're going to have to figure out as you go, ask friends for help, record yourself. That's, it's all up to you. And then you can hit play, it's gonna play the thingy, and cool. I'm not gonna play it now, because YouTube might copyright claim this. So, but what if I want specific inputs and outputs and stuff? What if I want to use one microphone for this and another microphone for Discord? Well, here's how, here's how you do it. Sorry, I'm really jumbled. Hit this gray button at the bottom. Now, this is basically the only thing you need to know, because these two are already over here. So Wasabi, it should automatically have this selected, but I like to go for the little tic-tac-toe board one. And then this is your input. Make it whatever instrumental you want. This is instrumental, blue blue microphone. This is your output. Make whatever speaker, headphones, earbuds. And bam, hit OK. And you should be good to go. But how do I make it work on Discord? Well, very glad you asked. Basically, hit your settings, voice and video. Input device, you're going to want to change that to your sync room driver. If this doesn't pop up, I don't know what to do. Sorry. I'll try to figure it out. If anyone has that problem, leave it in the comments. Then hit that. 
Now, you may see that it's slightly delayed and that's supposed to happen. So notes from me who've been using this for way too long. Don't have it auto because it's a little funky. It may not pick up everything. Make it adjust it however it is. Again, everyone has different input volumes and whatever. So I like to make mine 80 dB, whatever that stands for, because that just makes sure it ensures that's going to pick up my instrumental, going to pick up me, and that's the entire point of using this. But another big thing, make sure you have noise suppression off. If you have it on, it's going to make everything mess up. It's going to sound broken. It's going to sound like a robot. I don't remember what it sounds like, but it's going to mess it up. So things for Discord. One, change your input device to line, parentheses, Yamaha, sync room, driver, WDM, whatever that stands for. Two, auto adjust input sensitivity. Everyone's different. You aren't going to know what works for one person and yada yada. And three, noise suppression off. And those are, that's how you use it for Discord. You can presumably, presumably use it for other devices and whatnot. Not devices, like other softwares, talking stuff. If you, if it can give you that option of customization. But yeah, that's basically how you do it. I'm sorry, this is very jumbled. But hopefully this helps. Leave any questions you have in the comments. I hope I did not skip over anything. And... Have fun singing or playing instrument, whatever you want to do. And yeah, bye-bye.